welcome back to the channel guys. So, this is the Midweek Trio, welcome back. We do this every week, roughly 10 minute video, where we discuss something, whether it's a project update, um, a motoring thing, or just something. Just a touch base for you every week, just in case we have a bit of a dry spell with videos, which I hope not to, or just to basically bring you in, take a chance, have a chat. Right, this week, as the title suggests, I'm sorry, but it's a no. I don't know how to put this into words where it's not, well, I'm just gonna say it. I get offered work all the time. Um, and I mean all the time, multiple a week, sometimes multiple a day. Um, that is like uh, basic maintenance or actual restorations, stuff like that. Firstly, I wanna say a massive thank you to the people that asked me that. It's so heartwarming and overwhelming. It, I'm just the same as you guys on the driveway. I've just got a barn to put them all in now. Um, first of all, number one, thank you for thinking I've got the capabilities to doing all these cars. I'd like to think I can help you all out. Um, and who knows? I don't know where the future's gonna take me. But like I say, sorry, the answer's no at the moment. So everyone that does ask me for like private work and stuff like that, I just can't take it on. Um, me and Matt, basically kind of live in this workshop at the moment. It's getting a bit mad. Um, it, it's purely a hobby. It, the cars, obviously it's my business and classics is a business, I get that. Um, but this is, this is me trying to bring content to you guys, to help you guys, to be a DIYer with you guys. We learn together. This is the whole point of the channel. Um, and I just wanted to touch bases for you guys and just say that. I, I love the fact that you asked me. It honestly gets me every single time and it does make me question my whole life and my choices. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but for me right now, it, it, it is a no. Um, on the flip side, I am always at the end of a message. I am always at the end of a comment or a video or something like that. Just please message me if you're stuck. Um, I would love to help you all. Um, I really, really would. It is a massive part of my life this channel, it, 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 I treat it as my life. Like I have a full-time job, Matt has a full-time job, Mrs. S has a full-time job, she does a lot behind the scenes. Um, Jackman helps a lot behind the scenes. Uh, you've seen his 244 Volvo recently, um, and his Stagia, which is on eBay. Um, we all do a lot behind the scenes, me and Matt kind of fundamentally are in this workshop working away. And yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't really know how to say it, I don't even wanna make this video, but it got to the point where I feel quite dreadful saying no all the time on emails and trying to dress it up to be the smartest thing I could possibly say. But yeah, right now we've got a lot in here. We've got a lot of projects to clear. Um, and I will just touch base with them very, very quickly. And uh, yeah, I just, I can't bring cars here. It is, it is my personal space, unfortunately. Um, but who knows? Right, so moving on from that. Oh yeah, bay windows down there. I'll touch that soon. Um, yeah, so obviously not, it's, it's a no from me regarding the work and stuff like that. I'm at the end of a message, that's fine. I wanted to just clarify that. Regarding the channel and regarding what's going on next, I will just quickly touch you on the Mini, the 89 Mini, it's hopefully gonna get painted next month. We're gonna really, really push hard to get it done. Uh, we've just been to Mini Mine. Massive thank you to Mini Mine for hooking us with so many panels. Um, Simon in the parts department, I think I've bugged him so much, but we have just spent a lot of money there. And yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, me and Matt, between us. And uh, it's very exciting. So I just wanted to touch base, say thank you to them guys. While I've got your attention with MiniMine, there is a discount code in the description below for the eBay shop when you get 10% off, when you spend 15 pound or more on the eBay shop. That is a one way you can help the channel. It's a massive, massive way to help the channel. And it helps the friends out at MiniMine. Truly, truly great company. And they, like, they're at the end of the phone for me just like I, you know, I'm at the end of a message for you guys. So there's a lot coming. So the Mini 89 Mini is gonna get painted hopefully in June or at least blooming close to that. Um, the Mayfair, we've got the panels for it now. Uh, we're waiting on some floor panels, but we've got most of the panels so we can crack on back with that. That is basically get it solid, get it to James, then it can take its next stage of its life and we can get that on the road. 
Matt's is the big one. Um, so Matt's and the 89, Mrs. S's car, they're the two cars we're gonna focus on. Um, I'm currently down a workshop now waiting for another car to turn up. So, like I say, it's a no from private work, but the cars you see ticking over in the background that aren't mine, they are my like long-term good friends. And I will help them as much as I can. I go to the to these people. So James, with his Mayfair, he's not a welder, he's not a fabricator. Um, it's not something he's capable of doing with the other scope he's got. I'm sure he'd crack on with a welder and have a go, but he hasn't got the space to do stuff like this. Um, he's got a little and stuff like that. So that's why we're doing this for James. He helps out on the channel. Um, Matt, Matt is keen to pick up a welder and crack on. So Matt's car is here. Um, and obviously Matt is becoming a big part of the channel and I love having him on here. So I hope you guys do too. You all seem to really love chatting to him at Himley Hall, which is overwhelming and awesome because as a team, we are going to do a lot of work in here. Um, and then we got Pete, mate, which you hear me mention sometimes. We did his Blue Clubman, we did his MPI Mini. Uh, there's a few things in the pipeline coming very soon with Pete, mate. Um, these are all people I've known for well over 10 years, 10, 15 years sometimes. Um, and they do a lot for me and my family in the background, so I give back that way. Um, and it helps fund this building. It helps bring you guys mixed content, which is, you know, just a little bit different. Um, so i wanted to just take that time to say thank you and it's like i say it is a, it is a no but please don't stop messaging me please just i'm not bothered by the messages i just can't help you physically um so that's what the channel's about it's about helping us all build these classic cars right i'm gonna shut up i hope you're having a lovely lovely week currently i'm down here i'm filming this on a saturday beautiful sunny i am not at work amazing for once and uh <laughs> i'm down here we're gonna crack on we've got a lift a bit to go on the 89, which I'm gonna start doing a few bits on, and then I'm gonna start moving some cars around to make space to do some more work on other stuff. Yeah, it's all happening, guys, it's all happening. Right, on to your questions. Remember, questions, please comment away, you will get moved to the next week, and I'll keep a bank of questions, and we'll keep running through them. So, multiple questions are fine, I'll just pick each one throughout the week. So, questions below, let's get to you this week's questions. So, the first one's not really a question, but it's something I wanted to mention, um, because, it really, really helps the channel, and I love hearing that it's helping you guys out of your projects, because like mentioned, that's what this channel's all about. So this first comment, I guess, not a question, is from Yamnut1. So I'll put the name on the screen there. Number one, thank you very much for watching the channel, and thank you very much for sending me your, you know, your comment, I liked it. It's a big thank you. So he's been watching our recent build series, used the discount code from Mini Mine, and it's worked perfectly to get their Mini 30, our next stage ahead, to get it going and keeping it on the road. So. That is what this channel is all about, guys. That is why our partners at Mini Mine are just epic because they keep classic minis on the road, and that is what this channel is about. So, thank you very much, Yamnut, for that. Enjoy your summer, and I hope you really enjoy your car. And if you see us at a show, see me and Matt at a show, come say hi. We'd lovely to see you. And uh, yeah, keep using that discount code because you honestly don't know how much that helps the channel out. So, thank you very much, buddy. The next question is from Ross Freeman, uh, Essential London to Brighton Prep. Oh, London to Brighton Prep. Uh, so yeah, what London's Brighton, if you don't know it, if you're in a different country or you've never taken part, is um, probably the biggest classic mini show of the uh, of the, the show calendar of the classic minis. Um, well, minis in general, not classics anymore. Unfortunately, there's a lot of new ones on there. Um, love or hate them, we own one. I'm not, not slating them, but it kind of ruins the style and the look of it a little bit now. Um, London's Brighton is a big, big London's Brighton mini run, like the London's Brighton vintage car run and stuff like that. It is famous, you know, it's absolutely, it's one, it is a really cool spectacle to see. Um, it used to be based from Crystal Palace down all the way down through the lovely roads straight down into Bryan Park on Madeira Drive. It is now in a slightly different location. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the new location, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, yeah, London's Bryan prep number one spares. Uh, anything you every car has personality, every car has a gremlin. Uh, the mini sidewalk for argument's sake, vac pipes doesn't like them, so I always carry spare elbows spare back lines, stuff like that. Um, always carry a spare fan belt. Um, I have been known to carry a water pump, um, just because at the time, I think I went through three or four water pumps, and I think I was just going through some really poor parts. Um, uh, some spare gaskets uh, for stuff like that. Jubilee clips, spare heater uh, rad pipes I carry. Um, they'd be my spare parts, probably. Obviously, spare wheel, some tools, and bits and pieces like that. Uh, oil antifreeze, never go anywhere about them in a classic mini or a classic car in general. Uh, that's kind of where I'd probably go. I wouldn't go mad. If, if the mini's well maintained, you shouldn't have any problems. I do carry a brake adjusting spanner. 
um, mainly for me, I do a lot of mileage just to get to the start point of London Ryan. Um, so if I've recently rebuilt a car or I've adjusted the brakes up, set off, they might need just readjusting or just check in. I always carry that, especially if I'm away from home for a bit, driving around a classic Mini. It has been known to be away for about a week in a Mini, driving around, covering various you know mountains of mileage. And just, yeah, just do a bit of maintenance on route. I, I, personal preference, but yeah, basic tools, basic spare parts, anything your car's got a gremlin with, carry that. Um, obviously you need your tent and all that sort of stuff, maybe a little beer and stuff like that. So yeah, that would be my advice. Just know your car, be prepared, and enjoy it. And when you're at London Brian, don't be afraid to ask. I mean, you might not even have to ask. The Classic Mini scene's so lovely. If you've got a problem and you're parked at the campsite or you're en route, someone will pull over and help you. Um, the amount of times I've broken down, people pull out help me. And likewise, if I've seen someone on the side of the road in the run, you just pull out, do you need a hand? Are you okay? Do you need this? The spare fan belt I've used on everyone else's car, not mine. But it's worth having on you because you can help someone else. And then when you get to London Brian, they buy you a new one. Um, but even if you don't get it back, you've helped someone. And that's the point of it. So good question, buddy. Really, really like that one. And if you see us, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. I'll drop, I'm going to try, try and drop a video, uh, maybe in the week or an update a little bit um, on what I'm doing for London Brighton. But something very, very different. So see you there. So the last question um, hasn't been asked on the comments, but I was having a pizza and a, a chill with a buddy, Mini Will. So you might remember him from the Colonel Mustard Clubman Estate. Go and check that out. It's probably way few years back now, I think, on the channel, um, where we rushed, all of us got together, and we got the car to the IMM in Bristol, which was a washout, but we got the car there, and that's the whole point of the classic mini scene. We all got together to do it. We're sitting down last night, and I was chatting to him about a project that's just arrived in the, in the, in the workshop and my personal car. And basically, the, the question is, SPI or MPI? What would you choose? So number one, drop in the comments, what would you choose? SPI, MPI, and we can discuss that next week. But what are the pros and cons to the evil one of them? So me personally, I prefer an SPI. Um, when they're running, when they're driving, they're great. Um, I think there's enough stuff in the engine bay to kit your head round, but not too much. It's still the layout of a classic mini, the rad that side, and I like that. I like how it kind of looks still, yeah, a bit more basic, I guess, is the best way to put it. I like the interiors of SPIs. They've got metro seats, nice bolsters. Um, quite sportive seats, do quite nice interiors on all the Cooper range and stuff like that. Uh, I like how they drive. My only gremlin is, um, they, they obviously like any Mini on the right way forth, it revs a little bit high, so the diff's a bit different. MPI has a slight, I don't know the, the ratios, but an MPI diff, so a plus for an MPI. Um, number one interior is lovely, really nice, nice dashes, stuff like that. MPIs really are sorted on the inside. For a bit of safety, you've got side impact bars on your doors, and you've got uh, airbag and stuff if you want all that if you retain that and then what the other stuff you've got uh, oh there's matt he's on his way are we recording yeah oh, recording. Yeah. um and then the other stuff you've got um is things like you've got a look geared down diff so on the motorway your you, your revs drop and you can cruise a lot nicer uh but off the line you're not as fast it depends what you want from your car so pros and cons we landed on the fact that for me an spi is better just personally because i, I like them I've had a few now and I kind of get my head around them a little bit. I understand them. I know kind of what the gremlins are with them. Uh, and the shells tend to be a bit better. Now, if you know me on the channel, you know I don't hate an MPI. I've just mentioned that. I don't mind an MPI at all. But the shells on them are, are like, yeah, thin. And uh, you, you only have to talk to people that know no Rover inside out. They weren't very well prepped from factory and stuff like that. But as a car, great. Really, really nice car to drive. Um, for me, just lost its mini characteristics a little bit. It's just not quite mini still, uh, but it is what it is, you enjoy it. So what do you guys think? SPI, MPI, comment away. So thank you very much for watching guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel like mentioned. Go check out Mini Mine, discount code on the screen now for 10% off when you spend 15 pound or more on our eBay shop. It helps the channel out massively. Top bunch of people, if you've got any questions, give them a call, they'll answer your questions. Um, so please go check them out. Check Frost out as well. There's a discount code for them if you need any paints, your tools and bits and pieces like that. Please go check them out. Right, catch you in the next one. Uh, those of you going to London to Brighton, have a very, very safe trip down and uh, I'll update you across social media what my plans are. You're going to love it. Please, please come say hi. You're going to love this one. So catch you soon, guys. Keep an eye out on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. And I will post it onto YouTube uh, comment uh, community. That's it. Catch you soon.